everyone! Have you ever wondered why our body tends to move forward when the vehicle suddenly stops? Are there laws governing such actions? How do we take advantage of our knowledge in motion? Let's find out as we take our journey to the world of Newton's Three Laws of Motion. <laughs> object to the amount of change in the object's motion. So, what are you waiting for? Let's, Let's get, get started! <laughs> Sir Isaac Newton was an English physicist and mathematician. He was the culminating figure of the scientific revolution of the 17th century. Wow! Oh! And in mechanics, his three laws of motion, the basic principles of modern physics resulted in the formulation of the law of universal gravitation. The laws of motion relates between the forces acting on the body and the motion of the body. And these are the three laws of motion. Law of inertia, law of acceleration, and law of interaction. And the first law is the law of inertia. It states that a body continues in its state of rest or in its state of motion at constant velocity provided that no net force acts on it. If an object is at rest, it tends to remain at rest. If an object is moving, it tends to continue moving in a straight line without turning or changing speed. Every object possesses inertia. An object's inertia depends on its mass. Mass is the measure of inertia. And the larger the mass of an object, the greater its inertia. Yay! The second law of Newton's law of motion is the law of acceleration. The acceleration of an object as produced by a net force is directly proportional to the magnitude of the net force in the same direction as the net force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. The acceleration of an object increases with increased force, decreases with increased mass, and is in the same direction as the force. Mathematically, the second law of acceleration can be expressed as F is equal to mass times acceleration. The acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the net force acting on it and inversely proportional to its mass. And the third law is the law of interaction. When two objects interact with each other, the net force they exert on each other are equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. For example, when you push on the ground, the ground pushes you forward. Three laws of motion tell us exactly how things move. It can also explain the movement of war, how water flows, and basically how everything around us moves. And that's our science lesson for today. Please like and subscribe for more science lessons. Bye! Bye.